Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the nitrogen set by Mel Chemistry, you will learn how to burn a pattern on a piece of paper. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the fire label experiment, you will need the sodium nitrate solution, a piece of foil, a sheet of paper, a splint, a cotton swab, a candle, and thermochrome stickers. From the starter kit, take the solid fuel stove and the flame diffuser. You will also need some matches. Thoroughly wet a cotton swab with the sodium nitrate solution and paint a pattern on the paper. For best results, start painting from the edge of the paper making a thick continuous line. Make sure the solution thoroughly wets the paper. Take the gloves off. Put the candle into the solid fuel stove and light it. Put the flame diffuser onto the stove and cover it with a piece of foil. Place the paper sheet onto the foil and wait for two minutes until the image dries. Remove the paper and the foil from the flame diffuser and blow out the candle. Then put them both back on the flame diffuser. Ignite the splint, let it burn for about 10 seconds, and then blow out the flame. Touch the smoldering splint to the edge of the paper. Watch how your pattern emerges as a burned image. The paper begins to smolder due to the presence of oxygen in the air. However, because sodium nitrate decomposes into sodium nitrate and oxygen when heated, there is a higher concentration of oxygen on the parts of the paper where you have painted your pattern, as opposed to the concentration of oxygen in the air. This is why the parts of the paper painted with sodium nitrate smolder faster and more strongly, revealing your pattern as a burned image on the paper. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.